In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a triangle read or triangle passing concept out of the play PA slot cross in Madden 23. This play is extremely versatile, especially if you have Hot Route Master. It makes this play just darn near unstoppable. And I'm going to show you today one of my personal favorite route combinations right now out of this play. It's going to create a snap throw flat route that is super effective against zone and man. It also gives us a lot of versatility and uh, allows us to attack a lot of the field from this formation. If you want to get my entire gun tight offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it's going to get you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. So the setup for this is fairly simple. We are going to take our running back. We're going to put him on a table route. If you don't have Hot Rod Master, you can put him on like a wheel route or a swing route. You're just trying to get him to the flat. And then what we're going to do... Uh, on the back side of this is we are going to hitch um, our our little slot receiver here. We're going to take our right side receiver, put him on a post, and then we are going to take our tight end, and we're going to put him on the flat route. Now, if you wanted to, you can also slant this player right here, or you can leave him on this default route. I think that this default route is really effective, um, and so I want to try to keep that as much as possible. When we motion the tight end, we're going to put him on the flat, and then we're going to snap the ball right there. Um, we want him to we want him to actually run to the flat, so I snapped it just a little bit too quickly. But I'll show you what happens against man coverage. It's really interesting when you motion snap these uh, these flat routes. What you'll basically have is almost like a speed burst. So you see here, just kind of letting like that. See how it kind of jets outside, then I can throw it out there quick, and you see that that can turn that into about a ten to fifteen yard gain even against you know man to man now i'm going to do something just just for the specifically for the flat route um i'm going to go ahead and just shade my coverage underneath and i want to show you the difference uh just in terms of how the coverage is going to play if you know i do shade so you see here the beauty of tight see how it kind of lurks it but the thing is the slot crosser now becomes wide open over here on the on the left side so you have a lot of versatility um specifically against man-to-man -man. now another thing that you have against man-to-man -man is they're going to have to shade down to defend your tight end flat so the other thing that i would recommend is go ahead and start to peek this post over there as you can see you can open get that open against pretty much any man coverage in the game super super effective little read uh for man-to-man -man. and then another thing that you can do and this is where if they are running more man like if it's kind of a tendency that they're running shaded down man, one of the things that I would recommend is to wheel the back instead of table route him. Against shaded down man coverage, typically what you'll see here is he'll get a step on that safety, and if they don't have a deep route knockout, that can be a potential one-play touchdown on the running back. So if they're ever just consistently like, okay, that's going to be their adjustment, they're going to you know drop a zone over there or whatever, but they're going to try to take away the running back, if that's the case, or um, I apologize to the tight end, if that's the case, then one of the things that I want to do, you see how they get that little bump animation? And then the running back can literally be a one-play score, or at least a big play over the top, um, especially if they don't have deep route KOs on those players. So that is something else that I will do uh, occasionally if I wanted to just kind of make this play a little bit better, uh, specifically against man coverage. Um, and then the hitch uh, is another route that I would recommend. It's like if they're running you know, shaded down man, or if they're running, you know, it just kind of depends on, again, like what they're doing defensively. But one of the other things that you can do uh, is you can take this hitch and you can go ahead and streak him and you can create kind of a natural pick and rub. Sometimes he'll get him wide open. Sometimes and I guess I'll knock him down because that's the game we play. But as you can see, the running back is also something very effective for if they do want to shade cover their coverage underneath. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about zone. So if they are going to play some zone, uh, this is going to really do a good job of spacing the field underneath. We're going to try to really attack horizontally. So first and foremost, you always want to look at their at that tight end if that's open. You can highball this uh, this route to Michael Irvin. So if the yellows if the yellow zones are kind of sucking down underneath and they're trying to play this little crosser, then what you have is this little uh, slot apprentice post is going to be wide open for you. So again, you know, do something like this. You don't have to. You don't have to let. You don't have to do a quick snap. He'll still kind of, for the most part, be a speed. See how the yellows kind of suck up, and then I'm just going to uh, throw a high point pass over the middle of the field. Now, the reason that I would recommend that you every now and then will we'll go ahead and take this player and put him on a slant is for this situation right here. So if they are running more zone, what the slant route's going to do for you 
is it's going to create a high low on the right side so i can take my running back route you know easily just cut up field and call it good the other thing is that this is going to get your opponent into hard flatting so they're going to hard flat Typically, they're going to hard flat to take away like your running back. They're going to try to take away your tight end by hard flatting, right? Those are some of the things they're going to do. Well, now you'll see that this little route, you see how that route gets bagged if they do hard flat. But there's something else that you can do uh, with this. So if they, do, if they do hard flat, the other thing that you have here is you can take your running back and like I said, you can either put him on a flat route. You could also put him on a ghost route. I think the ghost route is really interesting. But then that's where I would really recommend re-slanting this receiver is if they are going to play that little hard flat because now that slant's going to get deeper. And it's not my, it's no, there's no way for the hard flat to play it over there on the sideline, as you can see. So this really does a good job of opening that up. So now we kind of get them into this little no man's land uh, territory. And they're going to have to use the post route pretty much unanimously like that's going to be the route they're going to have to use her to stop it and so then if they use her that post route oftentimes what happens is this right on the left side here this little hitch you can actually playmaker that inside and get it open against pretty much any zone in the game now this doesn't even come into consideration yet but a lot of people when they're playing like tight they don't want to defend the middle of the field right so first and foremost they want to blitz you so we know that this year that Pretty much unanimously, everybody wants to send pressure. So that's another thing that you want to think of, uh, think about here. So we're going to try to set up, you know, a little max coverage defense. Again, they're going to use her that that post. And then the thing is here, you you should see that they the flats are not going to be open, but then the hitches are going to be open underneath here. So again, if they're trying to defend any kind of your sideline stuff. Then you see here, my hitch is wide open, my little crosser is wide open, and obviously they're usering uh, the post route. So this just gets a lot open relatively easily. So that's why I really like this formation and this play. If you want to get my entire offensive ebook on this formation, make sure that you join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description.